Hello everyone. On 24th February 2024, Orthodontic and Dentofacial Orthopedic Association of Nepal ODOAN, organized the first ever PG convention in Nepal. And I is a first year postgraduate resident from BP Koirala Institute of Health Sciences. Dr. Raman Dungil was there to present a poster titled Bone Anchored Maxillary Protraction BAMP or Review. Skeletal class 3 malocclusion which is caused due to maxillary retrusion or mandibular protrusion or a combination of both has a prevalence as high as 4 to 14 percent in certain Asian populations and 1 to 3 percent in whites. The orthodontist faces a challenge in treatment due to the mandible's differential growth which tends to worsen as the individual ages. The correction of skeletal class 3 malocclusion in growing patients involves a two-phase therapy. Initially, orthopedic appliances are used to address the skeletal discrepancy, followed by fixed orthodontic treatment. However, the use of a face mask, an orthopedic device in this process, may cause detrimental effects on the teeth, including retroclination of lower incisors, proclination of upper incisors, and mesialization and extrusion of upper molars as they obtain encouraged from the dentition. It also causes clockwise rotation of mandible, opens the bite and increases lower anterior facial height. To overcome these effects, type 1 BAMP was introduced by Kirselli et al., which uses skeletally anchored mini plates to apply forces directly to the maxillofacial complex with the use of a face mask. These protocols, however, still need a face mask. A novel intraoral treatment technique with its ensuing protocol for the correction of skeletal class 3 malocclusion was developed by D. Clark et al constituting intraoral class 3 elastics applied from the maxillary infrazygomatic mini plates to the mandibular symphysis mini plates for 24 hours a day that is type 2 BAMP in cases where dento alveolar compensations can be detrimental bone anchored maxillary protraction is preferred in figure 1 here delay type face mask and panoramic radiograph showing the positioning of multipurpose titanium mini plates on lateral nasal wall is seen. This is type 1 BAMP and multipurpose titanium mini plate is shown. In type 1 BAMP, contoured mini plates are placed on the lateral nasal wall and their extension into the oral cavity is bent into a hook for engaging the elastics. Three self tapping screws, 2 mm diameter and 6 mm length are to be placed for the stabilization of the mini plates. After approximately 7 to 10 days of soft tissue healing, orthopedic forces of 400 to 500 gram per side directed 30 degrees downward and forward are applied. The face mask has to be worn 14 to 16 hours each day, replacing the elastics every day. An alternative method involves the installation of two mini plates at the infrazygomatic crest bilaterally and the use of a face mask. Type 2 BAMP therapy involves the installation of 4 mini plates, 2 each in the infrazygomatic crest of maxilla and at the mandibular symphysis. Pre-drilling with 1.6 mm diameter bore is to be followed by fixing the mini plates to the bone. They are fixed with 2 to 3 self-tapping bone screws per side, 2.3 mm in diameter and 5 mm length. 200 to 250 gram of force per side is applied for protraction by engaging class 3 elastics worn 24 hours a day and replacing them daily. After 2 to 3 months of intermaxillary traction, maxillary posterior bite plane is to be used to eliminate the occlusal interferences in the incisor region until the anterior cross bite is corrected. After 7 to 12 months of traction, the bite plate is removed and the traction is maintained for 12 to 16 months. Wearing of the elastics should be done during night time for retention until the growth is complete. A systematic review and meta-analysis by Cornelis et al. analyzed 28 articles including follow-up studies done on BAMP therapy and compiled the effects brought about by BAMP therapy as 5.2 mm maxillary protraction without counterclockwise rotation by type 2 BAMP. Also in the mandible, it restricted from forward growth movement by 0.6 mm compared to untreated masked controls who showed an anterior growth of 2.2 mm. Maxillary incisor protrusion was half in the type 2 BAMP group than that of conventional face mask group. 
lower incisors retroclination by 4 degrees in type 1 BAMP and proclination by 1.3 degrees was observed in type 2 BAMP. ANB correction of 4.2 degrees and 3.5 degrees was observed in type 1 and type 2 BAMP respectively. A similar width correction of 5.1 mm was observed in both type 1 and type 2 BAMP. BMP therapy could deliver equally effective maxillary protraction compared to conventional face mask without much change in vertical dimension and minimal dentoalveolar effects are seen. In cases where the dentoalveolar compensations can be detrimental, bone anchored maxillary protraction is preferred and different treatment approaches can be used based on the need of the clinical case, age of presentation of the patient, long-term follow-up results are not available yet necessitating further research, and the advantage is the patient compliance is higher and up to a little bit more is up to CBM stage 3 this BAMP therapy could be done though the patient has to undergo multiple surgeries for placing the mini plates the clinical result it brings is totally worth it thank you any questions you can mention in the comment section